Oh my gosh, guys, <laughs> look at this. We are sitting on the top of Turtle Mountain right now. Uh, AKA Frank Slide. It has been such a glorious night. Like I can't believe this view, but today didn't start off that easy. My legs already hurt. <laughs> There is no warm up, no nothing. It is just straight up right off the bat. Ready? Ready. I'm moving. I could be on the couch, camping with your grandparents, enjoying snacks and good company. But instead, this is what we're doing. This is a lot of elevation in a very short period of time. Here's where we started. I'd like you to know that I don't sweat, I glisten. That's highlighter, that's not sweat. <laughs> How you doing? I'm tired, I'm sweaty. And I'm so thirsty that the can of bear spray on the back of Curtis's backpack is starting to look tantalizing. Refreshing. My lips feel like dust. <laughs> I can tell that this hike is pretty strenuous because Curtis and I are not talking to each other. It is head down, focus on footing, Try not to concentrate on the fact that my thighs are burning from the incline, but it's good. It's got a beautiful view of the town already. No one's talking. It's perfect. Chatterbox. Just kidding. I love you. Well, this is pretty nice. Should we just go back? <laughs> this view helps. We are, we are tired already, and I know that we probably aren't even halfway up. So this view is a great motivator, because if this is halfway, I can only imagine what the top looks like. I think the air must be thinner up here. Having a hard time catching your breath? Yeah, I think the air's really thin, can't breathe. Oh, lungs, come on. Lungs are burning. They're burning. I'm not sugarcoating it. This is what hiking is really like. It's hot. It's sweaty. It's straight uphill. Your lungs hurt. It's exercise. What about that? It's fun. Between this video and the video of us going up the stairs in Thailand. It's like the chronicles of two mid 20 year olds who are really out of shape but are super ambitious. <laughs> is this where it flattens out? Hallelujah. This is so much better. Okay. Do you guys do you guys know what a life straw is? If not, I'll put it in the link below. You can check it out. It's like a straw that you use. You can find any stream, any water, and you can like any stream that you find on the mountain or when you're hiking find any spot of water and through the straw you can suck it in and drink it and it's supposed to purify the water before it gets to you so you don't get sick chelsea had a great idea to bring the life straw with us in case we see some water we get thirsty we don't have to drink the water that's in our bags didn't work out There's no water anywhere nowhere there's no water here Why are you wimping out now? This is cool though guys. We are following this peak line all the way up to the summit. This is cool. You can see the progress that we're making. We're following the top of the mountain. This is cool. 
I still wonder from time to time. I thought this was the top of the mountain. That's the top of the mountain. What? That just looks like it's literally straight up. We thought we were there. Well, we've almost made it up to the top. But there, you can see Frank slide. There's the mountain where all the rocks slid down. Frank slide. Chelsea? Yeah. Let's go touch the clouds. No bueno. Right close. It's supposed to be cloudy and cold and rainy. But my clothes keep me warm and now I'm way too freaking hot. You okay? I can't be that much further. I can't do it anymore. I'm not kidding. How sweaty is my hat? Oh God. Drenched. My heart's racing. This is kind of terrifying. So now that you've seen us battle our way all the way up here, I think the guy before, we met a guy on the way up. He was running this whole thing up. We asked him how long it took him to run all the way up and down. It took him 50 minutes, half an hour up, 18 minutes down. And it took us like three hours. Meanwhile, to get there. <laughs> Chelsea and Curtis, like three hours worth of tears. And we made it up here. But anyway, we made it to the top. It's beautiful. We've never seen it. Frank slide from this angle. Thank you. Let's see. Growing up in Alberta, I've driven this highway hundreds of times going past here to BC, uh, going out to Blairmore, anywhere out in BC and back. We always drive past this. We always stop at the visitor center. I've never seen it from this angle. You can see there's one peak there. Let's see, one peak there, the other peak's there. And they say if you, if you point your fingers up like this, well, it works better if you're down on the ground. <laughs> but if you point, put your fingers up, one, one finger on each peak and you make like the triangle at the top, like that, that's where the mountain used to be before all the rocks slid down, all the way down there and covered up Frank. Frank was down there. I have the got- town, The town, not, not the person. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say that it's like really eerie to sit up here, like knowing that this mountain gave out once before. I heard it's loose. It's crazy. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not loose. So, some things that we learned on our first hike up to Turtle Mountain. Uh, first of all, this is a very strenuous hike. I know that on the hiking this app- This is the hardest hike I've ever done, hands down. On the hiking app that we kind of used to direct us, it did say that the hike was hard, but sometimes I think that we think that we're young and invincible, Actually, but- if you've ever seen or done the Grouse Grind hike in Vancouver, very similar. It's like straight up the whole time. This is way longer though, for sure. We passed three or four different peoples and the words that they used to describe it was strenuous, strenuous it's a grind and good luck. So <laughs> it was definitely- But it's beautiful at the end, it's really <laughs> at the end. So it was definitely, uh, it definitely wasn't like easy hike by any means. I would say that a huge saving grace for us today was that it was cloudy. And for about three quarters of the hike, there is no shade. So if it was bright and sunny out, I think it would have doubled the difficulty factor. So make sure you're checking the weather. Also, there are lots of loose rocks and uh, loose dirt to hike up on. Are you even on me? Look at here. Duh. There's lots of loose rock and lots of loose dirt. So if you got stuck up here in a storm or crappy weather, again, it would be really challenging. How do you find this hike? You have to go to Blairmore. You don't go to... Frank. Frank Slide. Town. You go around to Blairmore <laughs> and you have to go to 139th or 136th. 134. I can't remember. 134. Okay, <laughs> we'll put a link with uh, with a screenshot of the map how to get here. There's not a lot of signage until you find kind of where to go, but then there's a little parking area and then you just follow the yellow pegs all the way up. And they'll start you off on the hike. There are a couple other good viewpoints along the way if you didn't want to make it all the way up to the summit here. I swear every 10 minutes I'd be like, oh, we got to be right at the top. <laughs> No, not at the top. And then you go another 10 minutes. We gotta be close. No, not even close. 
And we have also heard if you are a little bit more ambitious than what we are, we are fighting the daylight right now. But I have heard that there is a fire watch tower just on the other summit over here on the other peak. We started our hike at about 3.30 and it did take us, bear in mind that we stopped a lot, it did take us about three hours to get up here. So right now we will be fighting the, fighting the sunlight to get down. If it were up to me and I were to do it again, I'd probably start a little bit earlier and make even more frequent stops so that we could have stopped and had snacks at the viewpoints along the way. So like Chelsea said, we gotta beat the sun. We're heading down. We post new videos weekly, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you like this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys!